Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, our last video, I owe you guys an apology for that one because it turned out uh, like a steaming pile. It was never intended to be that. It was running long, so I edited as much of it as I could. And now we have audio issues, trying to get it back, and we've lost everything on the hard drive. So it is what it is on that one, but in a short, it was taking a PM model research number one and uh, addressing the common issues of, to why they don't run. And we took three models and made them run. And I made you guys a promise that when the channel hits 150 subscribers, one of those engines will be given to you. This is the engine that you'll be getting. Uh, I've went through and polished everything up on it. Made new handrails here out of stainless. Uh, mounted it on a board, routed the edges, and you can see yeah, I'm not a woodworker, but yeah, this will be the engine that will be awarded to one of you. So, all right. Well, that's not what the video is about today. I wanted to include that and apologize. So today we're going to look at this model M12B engine. I just took it out of the package. Um, it came with a starting rope attachment for an electric drill. 90 degree copper elbow which I'm sure is for the exhaust deflector that's gonna stay on well and first impressions quality control must have had the day off because as you can see it's not bolted to the base very well it appears that our nuts are missing it runs on three double a batteries for the ignition system we have an adjustable throttle yeah all right well i'll get this bolted back down and uh we'll see what we've got with it okay so we've got our engine bolted down tight to our base uh, turn it over see down in here Pretty we've got lash in our valves you can feel a little bit of compression on it, it appears that this is threaded but there's no cap for it we'll look around in the box and see if it might have rattled out this here is our I'm trying to get it closer. This must be our expansion tank for the cooling jacket. And our fuel tank. It's nice that there's a copper line running from our tank to our fuel inlet. So alright. I'm gonna look in that box and see if we didn't lose our filler cap. Okay, well, there's no filler cap in that box. Um, we're going to look at our instructions and see if it says anything about crankcase lubrication. I don't know if you guys remember the, the H75 Holt engine, but uh, yeah, we looked at theirs. And we'll get a look at this here. So it's 1.6 cc's, a 13 millimeter diameter piston. I imagine a 12 millimeter stroke. It says to use, I'm assuming 95 octane. Add no more than four milliliters of lubricating oil to the crankcase. So we'll put four milliliters of straight 30 weight down into the crankcase. Before we fill up our fuel in our water tank, we're going to put the batteries underneath of it. We don't spill everything. This here was 
not terribly easy to get oil down in. Okay, well we've got our batteries in the bottom side. We're gonna use for fuel. And this is the same stuff that I used in the H75. It's 40 to 1, 94 octane, ethanol free. We're gonna start with six milliliters of fuel into the fuel cell. That's nice. Put our cap back on. We'll fill up our water expansion so tank. And for this, I'm just using just distilled water. All right, well, we've got our water hopper full. And like I said, I've not tried to run this engine at all yet. I'm not sure which direction wide open is. We'll put it in the middle. Probably started using the drill attachment. And the, if you guys can see the little prongs right here, those pins just line up into the marks in the end of the crank. We've got a notch for our rope so we know our engine rotates this direction. We'll roll it over a couple times and then we'll turn our ignition on. Okay. Turn our ignition on and see what happens. We've got nothing so far. And you can see we've got issues with the valve train. We've got no compression and it hasn't even ran yet. We'll get our valve cover off and see what the problem is up there. I'll bring you guys in closer. Get this rocker cover off. Over there, let me see the rocker assembly. Yeah, there's, there's just no compression. There, it caught compression again. Well, let's try it again. Well, it is running. It actually runs very well at a really nice low idle.
that's as low as we can get it to idle. Open the throttle up a little bit and see what it sounds like. I guess we have plenty of lubrication to our cylinder because I don't like to run these little models all that fast they might take it, but... It's not running warm at all. Let's see if it'll start by hand. We might be out of fuel already. We didn't put much in it. Let's add some more fuel to it and we'll start it again. I noticed that, that H75, that Holt engine, that thing, uh, that really goes through a lot of fuel. It doesn't take long for a tank on that one. But it's also four times bigger than this one, so. I'll go ahead and try the rope start. I'll get my hand out of your way. or lean we'll open that up a little bit wrap our rope around a little more time this runs a lot slower than I thought it did because I think it fired a few times with the drill when we first tried to start it I couldn't tell. The drill was running faster than the motor. I think it could have been our problem with us losing compression. It could have been our rocker cover possibly hitting. I don't feel it rubbing on anything. Judging by the way all of our screws were loose on the bottom, I don't think this was treated the best in shipping. There we go. Kind of a neat little model. We'll make another one. We'll make it actually put it to work, have it do something. Got a nice big flat belt pulley right here. All right. Well, thanks again, YouTube. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think we ought to do with this little guy here. And don't forget about the 150 subscribers. We're going to give away that polished up Sterling Model 1 solar engine. Alright, thanks again YouTube. Bye.